Sinatra, he did not like segregation. He didn't like uh, that black people were treated as creatures of, of inferiority. He always rebelled against that. I really became conscious of segregation when I got involved in the entertainment business. I found that going through uh, parts of the United States, traveling constantly and uh, doing one-nighters with, with orchestras that were comprised of Negro musicians, there were a lot of problems. And not only the South, but in some quarters in the border states. And I began to resent it. I think it's vile. I think it's, it's, uh, it's the most indecent way to believe. I think that uh, we're all created equal. It's just, it's wrong. It's basically wrong. Sinatra felt that important to his life and to his art and to his whole style was what he had learned from black culture and black people. He was very, very close to the African-American scene. His closeness was never really fully recognized historically because he did that quietly behind the scenes. He opened up more doors than any other individual, black or white, in this business for me. He set my motion picture salary. He also was there for me on a personal basis when I needed him. And without being asked, he was always there for me.